Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Some of you all have new abundance coming in, um, in money, in the form of a new job, right? Or some of you all could have a bundle of joy coming, maybe like a child. Uh, you're expecting one or you're finding out. This is this is really, really good energy, you guys. I'm glad I used these cards. All right, let's see what else is coming through for the collective. Oh, this is joy. This is like giving me Ten of Cups vibes here, you guys. One more. Okay, all right. But be careful with fear, okay, and your negative self thoughts, okay, and, and yeah, energy. I've, at the bottom of the deck. So for me, it's like you, you guys just keep a firm grip over your overthinking and um, fear involved thinking, okay? Thinking like you can't do it or you don't have the courage or you don't have the tools or the knowledge or the resources. No, you do have the resources. I'm telling you, that's it's in the cards, okay? You've been isolating. So it looks like to me, you guys are coming out of period of isolation here. And for some of you all too, maybe you were you were so happy about something working out and it just like didn't work out the way you expected it. And now you're in hermit mode, isolating yourself. For some of you all, you could be dealing with a Virgo, but you don't have to be. But but the, to me, the overall energy is here for you is like come out of that isolating yourself and being negative about whatever this is, okay? Because you have the opportunity for uh, happiness um abundance <clears throat> in all the forms of which those will be will be different will look different for all of you okay that was good that was a good energy checking in let's see what's going on in the love department for the collective show me for the collective please messages in love what's what or who is coming for some in love show me what's going on Oh, yeah. Yeah, heartbroken. You guys are healing from something, okay? I know it was bad. We have heartbroken and ascending here. So you're healing from whatever this situation was. You had a breakup here recently. So I keep hearing Leo again. You, you, you feel lost. You probably did isolate yourself. This person probably made you feel really happy. But again, I feel like you're coming out of that energy. I know you're thinking about the past, right? Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. I know you're, you're, you you got to get past this, okay, you guys? It's time to get past it. Um, you can do this because over the other side of this is happiness, okay? Pay attention to your energy here, you guys. And then we have hand of cards, taking a chance. Yeah, take a chance. Take a leap of faith. Get out of your comfort zone, you guys, right? Um, you you, you <laughs> probably in, in love. You're to the point now where you're like, I'm not falling in love with anybody. This is looking like I gave, I tried. It didn't work for me. <laughs> like, that's exactly what this energy is telling me. And so from now on, I'm not going to be the first person to say I love you or I'm not going to get taken advantage of again. Right. It's different for all of you as far as like that you got to get out of your head here you guys okay because if you keep thinking that then that's what you'll bring in that's the law of attraction so obviously spirit wanted me to remind you guys of that today okay let's see here what's coming in in love for the collective please show me this all feels like you're in oh man codependency addiction are addictions are affecting your love life past past life relationship deception okay so you're on a break from a past life relationship you guys are either on a break from a twin flame or a soulmate because this past life relationship was at the bottom of the deck in reverse so for some of you all for half of you new love is going to come in when you get out of this isolation period because you're ascending right now you're growing you're you know um <clears throat> you're expanding and preparing for a new phase in love basically all right, so just be careful because you are closing out this cycle. These new cycles, you want to be careful with how you think. Uh, but for some of you all, you did actually disconnect from somebody who was a deceptive and dead devil energy. You know, this is deception and codependency is like attachment. So this could be you being still attached to that past person in that past situation because you're still doing in some form of healing right now. 
Um, so just continue to do the work to heal, right? Well, however that looks to you. And it could just be simple as something as simple as just allowing time to pass, right? Um, and then we have retreat, right? This is like, I'm detaching myself from this, either this toxic person, right? Like I said, I feel like most of you all already did detach yourself from this person. Um, you did because they, they lied, you know, for some of you, they cheated. It's all different for all of you. Okay. Um, Let's pull some more cards here. Show me more for the collective here and love. What's coming? Who's coming towards my collective and love? I just saw nine of pentacles. You could be a single independent person right now, which makes sense, especially if you just experience a heartbreak. Oop, look at that. Told you, ten of cups. Somebody's watching you. Ten of cups, three of cups. Hold on a second. I dropped one. I think that was the page of swords yeah it was page of swords okay so so basically you guys you got the ten of cups the three of cups and the page of swords i do feel that i have a sense that somebody's watching you okay maybe this is somebody in a friend group doesn't have to be um that that's to me that's the remember earlier when i said oh this feels like ten of cups energy that's that same energy and I feel like that energy is watching you, okay? This could be somebody in your friend group that you don't know. Bottom of the deck, uh, somebody, you could be an Aquarius. This is the star card. This is somebody who, uh, then we also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here and then Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is about delayed news. Uh, so this could be like, and this is also somebody curious watching you kind of lurking in the shadows or maybe they not aren't being forthcoming about there i think this is somebody sitting back taking notes like getting to know who you are male or female maybe this person like knows a friend is a friend of a friend and they're paying attention to you and you don't even know it, you guys now for some of you guys you may find this person on like a dating app okay this page of swords is giving me energy of like a dating app too so maybe you went through like 10 people <laughs> Or some of you guys went to, you know, went through 10, 10 dates or you went through three dates and you're like, oh, I'm done. This is getting boring to me, you know, but I feel like when whoever is swiping to this other person, you know, with the with the, the star card here, this person is really um, attracted to you, right? Your wish fulfillment to them. Um, this is good energy, but this is also... <sighs> The X probably, okay? For some of you all, just know that this X, Seven of Swords, that lied in the past, that was this deceptive behavior. Uh, for some of you all, it was a twin flame. Here's the Four of Wands. They left you in some form of confusion, right? This could have been somebody you were, or the soulmate, because Four of Wands is a twin, twin flame soulmate foundation card. But there's some form of confusion on whether or not uh scorpio energy if you uh, are going to the wheel move forward with this or not okay so for some of you all the ex is coming back and wants to reunite which is also seen in this you can you could say that's in this three of cups too i mean you know the star is talking about healing here right you you are doing your healing you know you um but i think that this person this new person that you don't know that hasn't expressed their love to you or if you guys are on a dating app like everybody's story is going to look slightly different um yeah so for those of you dealing with this ex um let's pull some some different cards because <laughs> they keep popping up you know And somebody is like not being forthcoming here because we see deception, we see um, sabotage or options, somebody not showing their hand, but, but wanting to take a chance. That could be this person who could be shy. This person's being gun shy on telling you that they have um, a crush on you, okay? Or they want to take you out. So, but we're right now going to see, show me spirit for the collective who's dealing with this ex. Show me this energy of the ex, please. That wants to come towards the collective. 
What does this ex want? They want to propose to you. <laughs> That's what the ex wants, collective. That I mean, that makes sense. Ten of Cups is here. Three of Cups is celebration. Um, yeah, they betrayed you. For some of y'all, they betrayed you in a marriage. Okay? They were dishonest. They cheated. Okay? You were in a marriage with this person. But I do feel like... And they're afraid if this, when this person comes back, this person's going to be very dramatic about it, okay? If you weren't married to this person, when this person comes back, they're going to ask to marry you. They will ask to marry you. And they are afraid of you rejecting them and saying no. Mm -hmm. Go with the flow, trust, surrender, okay? Uh, more water which is like really emotional stuff here. I think this person pissed you off. Um, hmm. Show me more on this ex, please. Because this is... There is definitely an, a betrayed ending here between you and this person. Solitude. Yeah, you guys have been alone. And nobody's taking action here. It's been very quiet between the two of you. Okay retreat is here which is like the retreat card here for me is like the four swords energy over here in the romance angels deck remember we saw retreat now we have mirroring look at looking at them as if they were you so like i said some of you definitely are dealing with a twin okay um uh, yep and literally as i say that i uncover this card over here and it's your twin flame the twin flame is coming back, you guys. So it looks like this is a twin flame reading. So we'll just keep it going. All right. Show me more for this twin flame connection. Thank you. Extroverted. Somebody wants to talk because they miss having sex with you, by the way. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, we have clarity. Get clarity. Somebody wants some answers. Okay? They want to talk. They need they, somebody said, give me your please give me answers. I need, please. I, I, I feel this is the energy of somebody saying, please, you guys. Like this, this is definitely giving me key sweat begging vibes. I mean, I'm not if you're cross watching, I love you guys, or whatever, or if you're on the opposite side of the energy, I'm not making fun of you. It it but it is giving me key sweat vibes. <laughs> it is. Oh my goodness, what else is going on with this person, please? What else is going on? Somebody is trying, possibly, for some of you all, you could be, yep, they're definitely spying and snooping. As soon as I was looking at this page, right? That's what this page of swords energy is. They're obsessed with you, though. So for some of you all, this person could be driving by your house, but I think they're just obsessive, obsessed over you. Male or female, they're obsessed with your body. They're obsessed with your hair. They're obsessed with the way that you smell. Um, for some of you all, you could have some lingerie or something that they really like and love, or there was, a, and you sent them a picture and they're like obsessing over this picture that they still look at. But I think what I was getting ready to say before I was sidetracked here, somebody's trying to figure out, there's a third party situation here, seems like, or there was, you know, somebody needs to make a look at that and I'm sorry, they want to apologize. I told you guys, but they're afraid that you're going to reject them. Yeah, show me more. So, hand of cards here. Somebody does want to take a risk. And they're strategizing and they're not telling anybody what they're planning to do. And I'm telling you, for some of you guys, this person's going to come back and they're going to propose to you. Or there will be an offer of commitment on the table, like a serious commitment. Okay? Because I think this person just... It's like, how are they going to come back from this Ten of Swords energy? Or giving to more than one one or two people right making plans to move forward this person wants to move it's, it's stra they are strategizing for sure like somebody's definitely making plans um for some of y'all this person's gonna want to move in together they want to spend quality time with you and they miss the deep conversations and the pillow talk you, you used to have at night and here goes the phone call they said i'm sorry <laughs> Fast movement on the top of the deck. They said, I'm coming. I'm hopping in the car and I'm pull. This is a pull up and hop out. Like, this is a pull up and I'm and a hop out. See, for real, for real. I'm sorry. They said, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. 
I like begging and crying, pleading. This person, I feel like I told you, I felt begging energy. You know, yeah. And look at what's on the bottom of that wish fulfillment, which is that um, Aquarius card we saw earlier, the star. That's that wish fulfillment. Affection, touchy forehead, kiss, open door. So listen. Um, we already saw how obsessed this person was with you physically. So yeah, just know that, okay? So let's see what this person wants to say to you. Where are my other... Here we go. We're going to use the Twin Flame Soulmate deck. Let me move these out of the way, you guys. You guys hit the like button if you're still here. And personal readings are open. That link is below in the description box, okay? Love you guys so much. Sending you all the love and light. What does this person want to say to the collective? What does this person want to say to the collective? And something... Ooh, this person is like... feel. This person's feelings were really hurt when you stop talking to them. And they're really jealous. Okay? This person's really jealous and upset that some of y'all have moved on or they think you've moved on or something here. Um, they, they said, I catch myself deep in deep in thought and it about you and it stresses me out. So I know they are um, definitely seeing you. you. You denying our love just kills me. It's definitely killing this person to the point where they got to call you. They got to see you. Maybe somebody saw you out and about in the streets or something. Or like I said, it could have been start lurking on social media too, right? Uh, looking at you hanging out with your friends or maybe even with somebody else. Seeing you on vacation makes me jealous. So that's this person's like, you're supposed to be my ten of cups. Why are you over here doing X, Y, and Z with, with, this, <laughs> with these people or this person? I, you know, and they said you act like a little bitch sometimes. Yeah, I think this person's just upset with you because you didn't let them have their way. You didn't let them get away with this. You didn't let them get away with this. You separated yourself. Okay, you detached from the devil energy. My insecurities F shit up. Yeah, see? I told you that's what this was. I wonder why this is not... Interesting. This looks blurry to me. I don't know. Is it blurry, you guys? Let me know in the comments. I was gonna say though, what else was what else does this person want to say? To the collective. Drop the card. Stop reaching out if you don't plan on changing anything. Mm. Maybe did you guys send this person a message? But I don't feel like you're talking to this person. So I don't know why this person thinks that you're worried and concerned about what they have going on. Are you calling and saying hello to them? Because that is, that is confusing them if you're calling or texting them. Like sending these ra random good morning text messages. How was your day text messages? I think that might be pissing this person off. For some of y'all, y'all are doing that. Okay. That ego of yours will be your downfall. So somebody's got some ego issues here. Yeah. Ego issues. Let's get a few more and then we'll move on. I find it hard to forgive you now. Mm. They find it hard to forgive you. I think this is how you feel. They know. You Remember we saw that... Um, um, rejection, like how they're going to just be afraid of, of, of rejecting, being rejected by you. That's just what it is. Because they know what they did last summer. <laughs> Give me messages here. I just heard Scorpio. I've been hearing Libra. Messages for the collective, please. All right, we have children. Some of y'all may have children or, or you, you all may have talked about having children together. 
somehow some way children play a part in this too if somebody is undergoing a spiritual transformation right now this could be you because you were in retreat mode and healing mode star mode but i think also your twin went through healing too but i still feel like they have more healing to do honestly if somebody is having some sort of financial difficulty right now our finances are just affecting the, the connection. Um, if this person wants to marry you, that definitely is like why this person is is trying to get finances together before they come to back to you because they're trying to save money to like for real to propose to you. Okay. Or make some grand gesture if it's not a proposal. You know. And we'll just pull one more here. They're obsessed with you. I told you. Obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive, obsessive thoughts. This person obsessively thinks about you sexually, your body, or your hair, or the smell. This person really loves your smell. Okay? And then we have denial. Detach with love to see, see, to clearly see the truth. So, detaching from this person was, has, has, um prompted this healing to take place right this healing it, it jump-started this healing um let's see what signs here so the signs that could be involved if this is not your sun sign the next could just be um you know just your your moon rising or your venus too okay we have gemini pisces scorpio gemini again leo Leo again, Capricorn, yeah, there's a lot of devil energy in here, in here. and Pisces again, okay, so those are uh, the zodiac signs, love you guys, that's your reading, bye.